and hello and welcome to another episode uh free go outdoors and me dylan uh we're out again this evening it's two days after danglers comp it's uh no three days it's tuesday um been laying blocks all day i'm not good but i got home quickly cooked some dinner for everyone and uh, i'm gonna manage to get a few hours in it's six o'clock it's bang on six o'clock low tide i think it's just coming up to low tide uh, and I want to try and get some bream. There's some bream coming out, so I'd really like to try and get some. Rods are in the water already, because I just wanted to get them straight in. Uh, I've also got a couple of packs of frozen crab, because basically I want to have a go with both. Well, actually one rod's got a whole squid on at the moment, because uh, the crabs aren't defrosted. Uh, so I've got a bream rig out at the moment. I say bream rig, it's a one up, one down. And uh, tide's moving a little bit, but they're out anyway. And... Uh, and I've got a uh, an up and over uh, which is supposed to have crab on it, but crab, like I say, crab's not defrosted. Uh, but it is currently defrosting, so on the next bait change, hopefully I can get one out. Uh, so one rod, I'm going to fish for some smooth hounds. Hopefully, fingers crossed. That's all I've got. I've got crab and squid, so I'm going to go with some smooth hounds and hopefully some bream. Uh, but yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. But like I say, there's definitely some bream coming out and there's some smooth hounds coming out. So fingers crossed. I can get one. Yeah, so hopefully that tide that tide seems to have pretty much stopped running. I've just changed one over. It's had a few nibbles. Um, this is the rig that I'm using, or one of the rigs. I'm basically, I've, I've had to dig deep to try and find some 2.0 hooks, and um, some size 2 hooks rather, and some rigs that I think are going to be reasonable. No, normally I use a shorter snood than that for bream fishing. Um, these are size 2s. And in the pack of squid that I've got, there's quite a few small ones, so I'm literally using them whole. I guess some people might call them party squid, but they're a bit bigger than that. Um, you can see it there. Hopefully it's hopefully it's uh, focus. Um, so yeah, size twos. I know a lot of people say size fours, size sixes, but I had some pretty good bream last year, and they're all in size twos, ones, or one o's. So uh, one of my rods has gone really slack, but I think that's just because the tide's changed. But I'm going to reel it in now and have a look. And this one is going out now. That looked like a very breamy bite on the shorter of the two rods. Oh, I'd love to get my first bream of the year. Yeah, so both rods at the moment currently on size two hooks. One's clipped, one's it, one isn't. Uh, and both just got plain squid on. Uh, when the light starts to go, I'm going to chuck some crab out on one of the, on one of the rods. Oh, I just I would love to get a bream. Predominantly, I'm out bream fishing. Free food, kind of.
That was another really good bite then. Same same rod, same fish probably. Well, I think it's tripped my lead now. It started to run a bit to the right, but it's, I can't see it moving, so I don't think it hooked. Very promising though, very breamy bite. Oh, well those bites never turned into anything. Um, definitely breamy, but the tide now is pushing in and there's a, a lot of weed, man. <laughs> Well, it's not a lot, there's not loads, but it's enough to be tripping my leads. And it's swinging right round, like my right hand rod at the moment is hanking right over. Uh, so I'm gonna have to bring that in. I've literally cast it maybe five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. Uh, I've only got five ounce leads on there at the moment. So I might up them both to sixes, uh, see if that makes any difference. Uh, and we'll go from there. But yeah, at the moment I'm just firing out two hooks, two hooks, two hooks, two hooks with squid in the hope of getting a bream uh, and then we'll change it up in a little bit. Fishing for an hour, 55 minutes, something like that. Oh yeah, hopefully, hopefully the weed will stop running. Right, just quickly while we're um, while we're getting weeded out, uh, I've been starting to, to peel some of the uh, crabs because they're starting to get a bit frosted now. Um, so I can, so that those are peeled. Um, these are all came from uh, West White Angling, uh, Andy in there, so go check him out in freshwater. Um, he's got some crab in at the moment, and uh, and also I picked up a bag of uh, of squid. Well, actually, I buy these by the pack of ten, um, ten packs of squid rather. Uh, so I grabbed one of those out the freezer. But that's all from West White Angling, so go and check him out. But yeah, hopefully, I really want to get some of these out. Um, started peeling that one and then I had a bite so I've left it but uh, hopefully one of those rods actually it started to settle I've got one settled in really nice but the other one's still pulling over so I'm hopefully uh, hopefully it will stop running in a minute and uh, I can start fishing properly Wow, <laughs> I think it's like 10 past six. I've been fishing for like six hour, uh, an hour and 10 minutes. And I think I've recast both rods for like four times each. It seems like even though the tide is running more now, where I'm fishing, you get a bit of a, a bit of a swirling and it seems that they're, they're sitting and holding better. I say that and now that one's starting to bounce along. I think that's just the lead. But yeah, I'm struggling at the minute. I'm not well. I'm holding bottom now with a five ounce, uh, but there's still a lot of weed coming through. I'm hoping that maybe in the next hour it will stop, but we're going to lose the light. I really want to try and get a bream, but I'm going to be fishing on Sunday. I'm fishing all day Sunday, so I might end up having to go around. Maybe I maybe I'll do a video and do a few different venues, chasing the bream. <laughs> but it's much milder tonight. So we'll be going out with some crab in a minute. Hopefully, again, hopefully it's focusing. You can see that. But yeah, it's a whole crab um, on a 2.0 wide mouth. It's quite a strong hook uh, with a little 3.0 uh, chinu style panel. And that's what an up and over. Mm. First casualty of the night. Instead of snap off, I think the trouble is that with the weed, it's taking it into the snags, and that's always a problem with fishing here. When the weed's in, it takes the rods into the snags. Yeah, gutted. Yeah, I'm going to still uh, keep chucking out the um, the bream rigs while it is still still light, because I really, I really, really want to get one. Uh, but yeah, disappointed to lose a rig. But the um, I've just chucked out that crab, um, and that's got a six ounce, and uh, that hit bottom straight away. So I think what I'm going to do is switch over, put some six ounce leads on, and hopefully 
I can fish through the tide and then it will start to ease off a bit anyway. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I apologise if the wind is uh, making a lot of noise on the camera, but um, yeah, it's definitely picked up. Definitely holding bottom better with the sixes. Lost first hook, but I don't think it was crabs. I think I caught it because it felt it go tight on the way in. So I think I've just snagged it and then just snapped the hook or snapped the line. Yeah, I've got a few rigs. I've got some three hook, three hook clip downs, but I don't know if I want to keep launching out three hooks. It's taking a while to bait up all the time anyway, as it is, because I'm having to changing my baits probably every 10 or 15 minutes it's a bit of a nightmare to be honest i'm hoping it will settle a little bit now i mean the big tide so it could it may well run all night who knows it's a little bit hit and miss here for that i'm hoping <laughs> always hoping it will just chill out a little bit and i can get a fish yeah it's hard i've got i'm not gonna lie it's pretty hard going at the moment Yeah, I really got my um, really got my hopes up at the beginning because I had a couple of breamy bites. I would have said they were bream. It could have been tiny ones, you know, but it was definitely you know that erratic. Doo -doo. Um, but yeah, none of them came to anything. I've probably been fishing for two hours now, uh, and no bites. I'm still just battling the weed, battling the weed and the tide at the moment. Uh, see my one big rod there, bigger one, taller one. It's just bowing over and then it's just tripped, the, le uh, the ledge just tr literally just tripped as well. So. Uh, and the wind's picked up, so I do apologise for the uh, sound quality. Uh, the six ounce leads are holding a lot better, for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's still a little bit of a struggle. So uh, I've got a crab out there now, uh, and I'm still going to keep banging out the uh, two hooks with size twos. I say I've lost one rig. And I've lost one hook on another rig, so. Uh, but yeah, not getting crabs, so which is funny because I mean, Allen Bay is only around the corner, and that was three nights ago. And there was loads of crabs, so. Yeah, we shall see. But like I say, little disheartened because I was really, uh, I got my hopes up, which I know you shouldn't do. But as soon as I had a couple of bites, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get a bream. Um, it's still light. I reckon we've probably got another half an hour, maybe. Uh, still chance of a bream. Uh, but yeah, really that was my target. Bream and then secondary is a smooth hound. So uh, yeah, we'll focus on those in a minute, but I am still gonna try, really try and get Bream. Now I feel like I'm fishing. I'm holding bottom fine. The weeds eased up a little bit. It's still there, but it's nowhere near as bad. So hopefully, I've got about, I reckon maybe half hour, 20 minutes of uh, of daylight. So I can still, still a chance of a bream. But yeah, we'll just keep fishing now. I've, I feel a lot more relaxed. It's it's nice. I'm, I like like I said. I feel like I'm fishing, whereas before I was just battling and battling. Now I can. I've got a couple of baits ready. I can sit down. I can chill out. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm really starting to uh, starting to wonder if I'm in the right spot tonight. <laughs> Those rods have not moved. I'm like two and a half hours in, three hours in. Apart from those little rattles of the bream, I've had no interest whatsoever. I mean, granted, I've only properly started fishing for probably maybe half an hour or so. 
You know when you start, I'm going through that thing where I'm, I'm doubting myself. I doubt myself, but just doubt it in the spot and the bait. But I've got cracking bait, I've got brilliant crab. Looks like a slap liner, but I don't think there's anything. I think the tide's just doing a swirly thing. Anyway, I need to quickly change this bait and I chuck some fresh ones out. <laughs> Gutted, I thought I was in for a win then. Build up a load of line. But literally just lined. No terminal, ta no tackle, no hooks, no lead, just line. <laughs> yeah, they're hitting the bottom really nicely now, I've got to be honest. It does make you feel a bit more confident when you actually can hit the bottom, get those grippers in, and then it's just sitting there nicely. Uh, yeah, no bait on there. Like they, There's definitely crabs out there, they're getting caned, but... Yeah, I just want to fish. Probably have to get the uh, get the tip lights on in a minute. It's definitely getting dark. I think my um, chances of getting a bream, I think that ship sailed. Uh, but yeah, just be nice to get a bite now. Like I said, I'm pretty limited on bait. I've literally just got squid and crab, so. You never know. I think, I think we possibly might have our first bite. There we go. Left, it's the, uh, it's the rod on the left. Whatever it is, it's, it's small. But it's still uh, it's still tapping away. So let's go have a look. Let's go see what it is. Well, I thought I gave that plenty of time then, but clearly not enough. It was tapping, tapping away for probably two, three minutes. I thought it was going to be on for sure. I thought it was going to be a dogfish. Uh, but yeah, nothing. So. Um, yeah, I've chucked another one back out. Um, hopefully, like I say, we'll get something. I mean, it, it's properly dark now, so the dogfish really should be starting to come out to play. Yeah, I don't want to blank. <laughs> and thought I'd saved it then with the dogfish, but there was nothing there. Well, we'll keep going anyway. There we go. We've got all the torches on now. We've got three torches. I'm not going to put the tip lights on. I, I always used to just have a torch shining straight on the tips and they shine up so well. Right, that's the bite. That was really good timing. Oh, that's typical, that is. Nice little bite, that. Uh, and it's gone straight in a snag. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it. Anyway, I'm going to change the other rig. Change the other uh, rig on the on the other rod. And, um, and just leave it sitting there. Hopefully, it will take it out. Yeah, gutted, man. Lost another rig. Yeah, that's really disappointing. Yeah, hopefully I can pull a fish out because like I say, that was a pretty decent bite. Probably a dogfish, maybe a conga. It was on a smaller bait, so, you know, who knows? Yeah, size two hooks with the squid. Oh, and also one of them had a load of crab legs on. 
But I'm still look, chucking out whole crabs. Nothing. Nothing's taking them at all. Not really sure what's going on. Just missed a really good bite again. Oh, there we go. I missed it again. Right, let's get this straight back out. Yeah, that was a really good bite, man. Pretty disappointed about that. So I've missed the bream earlier. Lost one in the snag. And just missed that one, which is a, like, I don't think it was a dog. I mean, it might have been a dogfish. Definitely wasn't a crab anyway. Uh, on the crab as well, it was on the crab bait. But anyway, I've launched a new one out. I'm going to get another one rigged up. Getting some bites on that left-hand rod again. That's the one with the two-hook uh, flapper on it. I've got a really small pulley rig I'm going to put on there in a minute. Uh, it's just got a... I think it's 2-0 uh, penneled with a little size 1. So it's a really small panel. Or pulley panel, you know. Yeah, I'm gutted. I've missed a couple of bites tonight. Oh, right, well, it's a little after 10. And uh, I've just chucked out my last two baits. Uh, so another crab. Oh, I thought something was going then. Another crab and uh, and a two squid on a on a pulley panel. It is going. Could this be the luck of the last cast? I really hope so. But yeah, that was a crab bait. It was definitely going, though. Well, how about that? Last cast, <laughs> lucky last cast. It's only a dogfish, but I'll take it, man. It means I haven't blanked, so. I'm pretty pleased, actually, I've got to be honest. I feel like I want to stay, but do you know what? It's like half past 10. I only ever wanted to try and fish for like four hours. It was mainly to come out and have a go at the bream. And I thought, well, I know there's some smooth hounds around, so I'll have a go at some smooth hounds. It's my first session uh, this year having a go for some bream and smoothies. So, uh, but yeah, let's get this little bad boy back in the sea, and uh, I'm going to pack that rod away now. And uh, you never know, the other one might go as well. 
Well, that time's come anyway. I've packed that other rod away. I need to get that one packed away. I need to get home. I didn't have any dinner before I came out. I was in such a rush to come out. I've, I've had no food or anything. I've literally just bought a bottle of squash. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping in. Like I say, it is my first session. In fact, I think it's my first proper session of having a go at some smooth hounds. And, uh, yeah, it didn't go very well. Uh, but I guess I learned a few little bits. I've, I mean, I changed that rig and that was what ended up getting me that dogfish. So I didn't blank, but I, I came out to target bream and smooth hounds and I didn't catch either. So I can't really take that as a win, but I will uh, take a dogfish over a blank. Uh, so yeah, so thanks for stopping in and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, and until the next time, everyone stay uh, safe and take care and uh, maybe see you out on the beach. Cheers.